Welcome back to Mighty Machines. In today's video, let us show you some of the biggest and most powerful machines you are yet to see. In lifting heavy materials, project sites usually look for machines with excellent strength and precision. A perfect example is the Mamoet Lieber LR13000. This crawler crane is able to keep its impressive stability and mobility because it's mounted on an undercarriage with a pair of Caterpillar tracks. It also comes with adjustable boom length, back mast, and counterweight to meet varying needs of the sites. Aside from its stability, the Lieber LR13000 is also impressive in terms of its strength since it can carry loads ranging from 60 to 3,000 tons. Indeed, a machine ideal for diverse lifting requirements. Following this is the flagship of aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicles, the Panther 8x8s. This is one of the machines that introduced new features in the areas of design, performance, and extinguishing power which makes it above every other rescue vehicle. It has outstanding statistics that exceeds every standard presence such as nearly 1500 horsepower, over 130 km per hour top speed, and 19,000 ton capacity for extinguishing compounds. The Panther 8x8 can also accelerate from 0 to 80 km per hour in under 25 seconds only with a pump output of 10,000 per 1 minute. This incredible rescue and firefighting vehicle has made its name on design, technology, and power. Plus, it's state-of-the-art technology that enables extremely safe driving behavior. If you think you've seen it all, wait for the e-dumper. The world's largest Switzerland-made electric vehicle. Based on their constant assessment of the vehicle, it was able to transport 65 tons of lime and marl from the high elevation extraction area to the permanently installed transport system below. It does not only feature great strength, but also its qualities ensuring a sustainable future. Because it's powered by the largest battery, the E-Dumper is a CO2-free vehicle. It also reduces waste and maintenance costs due to its parts that do not wear out easily. If compared to other vehicles, it has relatively lower noise emissions too.
Up next, we have the new Panther Series 2 low loader range designed for mining industry with safety and ease of operation as its top priority. The low loaders can range up to 80,000 kilograms, up to 1 million kilograms payload, but can be altered based on your specific conditions on the mine sites. It's also excellently engineered for it to be well suited to autonomous operations, but still with superior safety features. The Pesatenti and Sun Panther Series 2 is operated through the Rear Axle Rotation System, or RARS, to ensure safety, ease of use, and productivity. Aside from this, stability is also kept through the full width ground contact during loading and unloading with its incorporated wet brake system. On top of this, manufacturing and testing for this machine was also done to ensure it can withstand even the toughest mining conditions, additional to the modular design used to reduce shipping and installation costs thus offering a cost-effective and reliable solution. When it comes to the cotton transport industry, we also have the Collier & Miller Cotton Cartage Trailer. It comes as another record on its ability to accept nine cotton modules per trailer. The creation of the key concepts of this vehicle was mainly to have a load restraint system that could use existing equipment. This was achieved with the unique cotton crush restraint system, matched to the industry standard 45-foot drop deck trailer, which means that even with its load height of 4.5 meters, this can now be added onto existing trailers. Additional features include 12-volt or truck hydraulics, simple bolt-on attachment, and certificate to comply with load restraints. Moving on to the powerful machines of the sea, we have the Royal Odyssey of the Seas, built in 2021, and the Quantum of the Seas, built in 2014. Although both have different names, there are a lot of similarities in them, such as their size. The Odyssey of the Seas' recorded size is 1,138 feet long and 135 feet wide, which is quite similar to the size of the Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas. They also have the same number of passengers and space ratio. Now let's take a look at their amenities. The Odyssey of the Seas has 19 different dining options where 9 are included in your cruise fare and 10 have additional fees. On the other hand, Quantum of the Seas only has 18, but 10 of these restaurants are complimentary and the other 8 have additional fees. The Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas also has the same number of pools as the Odyssey of the Seas, but has more hot tubs and exclusive pools. 
Their only difference is the money you might possibly spend on them. Around 71% of the activities on the Odyssey of the Seas are already included in the cruise fare, while only 62% are covered in the Quantum of the Seas. Another big machine of the seas is the HWM Algeceras, also known as one of the world's largest container ships. It's fairly new given that it was only launched in 2020. This container ship was built by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in South Korea. The HWM Algeceras is 61 meters wide and 399.9 meters long with a total ship capacity of 23,964 TEU. Currently, it's registered in Panama and operated by HMM Co Ltd. That's it for today's video on the biggest and most powerful machines you have to see. Thank you for taking the time to watch Mighty Machines. Let us know what you thought of these innovations in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be updated with our content. See ya!